Today's session is about eigenvalues and eigenvectors. We all are familiar with matrices as well as vectors. A vector is a quantity that has a certain direction. To represent a vector, we can use a column matrix as given here in x is equal to 1, 0. It shows that x has a magnitude of 1 unit in the x direction and magnitude of 0 in the y direction if you call the two entries as x and y. We may also call it as x11 and x12. Basically what a matrix does? A matrix results in some transformation for a vector upon which it acts. Let us consider here a matrix A to which a vector x is applied. It results in a vector AX. If you consider the matrix capital A as minus 1, 4, minus 2, 5, then if this matrix acts on the vector X is equal to 1, 0, then we can see that the resultant is AX. It is given by minus 1, minus 2. Here we can see that x is a vector and ax is the resultant vector. The vector x has changed its direction to some angle theta. In this case, a matrix acts on vector and gives another vector. Now let us consider another vector x equal to 1, 1. So if the same matrix acts on this capital X vector, we can see that the resultant AX is 3, 3. So in the figure, if X11 and X12 are the axes, then if this is X, this will be AX. This shows that the matrix scales the vector when it acts on the vector. That is, the matrix scales the vector 1, 1 by 3 units. So the scaling factor is here 3. Now let us consider another vector. x is equal to 2, 1. The same matrix again is considered. When this matrix acts on capital X, the resultant AX is 2, 1. Which shows that when the matrix acts on X, it results in the same vector. And that means the scaling factor is 1. So we have x and ax as the same vectors. Where x11 and x12 are the axes. Here comes the importance of eigenvector. We had discussed three cases upon which a matrix acts on a vector. In the last two cases we could see that when the matrix acts on the vector, we got a resultant vector in the same direction. Whereas, in the first case, we could see that when the matrix acts on the vector, the vector has changed or vector has rotated through some angle. Also, it has some scales. Here we can see that when a matrix acts on a vector, if we get a parallel vector, then we can call that vector as an eigenvector of the matrix. And the value by which the eigenvector is scaled is called the eigenvalue. Thus the two eigenvalues of the matrix capital A is equal to minus 1, 2, 4, 5 are lambda 1 is equal to 1 and lambda 2 equal to 3. And the respective eigenvectors are 2, 1 and 1, 1. We could see that when the matrix A acts on 2, 1, it resulted in the same vector 2, 1. Which means that the scaling is 1. That means the eigenvalue is 1 and the corresponding eigenvector is 2, 1. When this matrix acts on M2, we can see that it results in a vector 3, 3. This shows that the eigenvalue is 3 and the eigenvector is 1, 1. We can have scaled vectors as eigenvectors. Thus, 
if 1 1 is an eigen vector then 2 2 can also be an eigen vector only thing is that when the matrix acts on this 2 2 it results in a scaling by 3 that means the resulting vector will be 6 6 in the first case instead of 2 1 we can have eigen vectors corresponding to an eigen value of 1 as 4 2 or 6 3 so this shows that when a matrix acts on a vector the resultant ax will be scaled version of the original x that is why it is written as lambda x hence we can write a minus lambda i into x equal to 0 taking lambda x towards the left side of the equation it is necessary that a minus lambda i should be a singular matrix also eigen vector is a non zero vector because if you have a zero vector it is a useless vector we can also write this equation as lambda i minus a into x is equal to 0 taking a x towards the right side of equation 1 if a minus lambda i or lambda i minus a are singular matrices then determinant of those matrices will be equal to 0 thus we have determinant lambda i minus a equal to 0 or determinant a minus lambda i equal to 0 this is called the characteristic equation of matrix A. And once we obtain the roots of the characteristic equation, which are called eigenvalues, we can find the eigenvector corresponding to those eigenvalues. Because as we have a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0. Here we have already seen that capital X will be the eigenvector. It should be noted eigenvector is a known zero vector. Let us also consider how to evaluate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. We have seen that eigenvectors satisfy the equation lambda i minus a into x equal to zero. So in order to determine the eigenvalues, we need to use determinant lambda i minus a equal to zero. We get lambda 1 as 3 and lambda 2 as 1. For any n by n matrix there will be n eigenvalues. We are trying to find the eigenvector for the eigenvalue equal to 3. We have seen that lambda i minus a into x equal to 0. So eigenvector is some vector that satisfies this equation corresponding to a given lambda. So we will take consider the matrix lambda i minus a substitute lambda equal to 3 so we have 4 minus 4 2 and minus 2 into x11 x12 let us assume that these are the elements of the eigenvector equal to 0 0 so if you try to solve this the two equations seem to be same and we have two unknowns. This results in x11 equal to x12. We can conclude that the two entries of the eigenvector should be the same. Let us assume it as 11. This is the eigenvector that we obtained previously for an eigenvalue equal to 3. We can even say that 2, 2 is an eigenvector. It is only necessary that the two entries of the eigenvectors are to be same. So we can have infinite number of eigenvectors in that plane. Now let us consider the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue equal to 1. So since lambda i minus a into x equal to 0, we can write 2x21 minus 4x22 equal to 0. The second equation also results in 2x21 minus 4x22 equal to 0. These two are same equations. So we can write 2x21 should be equal to 4x22 which means x21 should be equal to 2x22. So we derive a relation so that we can end up with n number of eigenvectors. So this shows the eigenvector could be 2, 1 
or it could be 4 2 or it could be 6 3 it could be 150 any number of eigen vectors can be obtained so whatever be the eigen vector that you choose when this eigen vector is acted upon by the matrix we can see that the resultant will be scaled by 1 because this eigen vector correspond to an eigen value of 1